Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I do have my current beauty essentials. These are beauty products that I feel that are essential to myself. And this is, video is most special to me because it is my very first collaboration here on YouTube. And I couldn't think of a kinder or sweeter person than to have my first collaboration with than Ankita. Her channel is Ankita B and I will leave it below. I'll leave the link to her channel and her current beauty essentials video as well. She has an amazing channel channel here on YouTube. She does favorites, tags, she does beautiful looks, she does vlogs, she does one dollar clothing hauls. And not just for us with beauty and things like that, but for those of you with little ones, she hauls coloring and books and puzzles. And she has a do-it-yourself chocolate and coffee mask for dry skin that I did try and it is phenomenal. And she is a very kind person. She is such a sweetheart and her accent is lovely. So when you're done watching this video, please go and check out her channel. And if you're here from Ankita's channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you decide to stick around, thank you. And if not, maybe you'll just stop by from time to time. These are beauty products that I feel that are essential and I use some of these year round and some of these are vital to me in the cold and winter months. So if you want to see what's on my beauty essentials list, just keep watching. I've had this in my hand the whole time. I don't know. But my very first essential is my Clarisonic Mia. Apparently I couldn't put it down through the whole introduction. I love this little guy. I've had him for over two years. I've replaced his head a couple of times. I use this two to three times a week to really just deep clean my face. It helps minimize the appearance of pores makes my skin super soft and smooth. If he were to break tomorrow, I would go out and repurchase another love one. This little guy, this is definitely a beauty essential for myself. Next is my apple cider vinegar. I know. I've talked about this a couple of times on my channel. I love this stuff. I use it in a water mixture before I do my toner after I wash my face. It just helps my skin stay soft and smooth and supple. And if I could think of one thing that happened that transformed my skin, it's this guy. As far as blackheads, acne, or anything like that, I use it on my face and my skin will just glow. I put some on my bath water and my whole body just glows. Love this. This is an essential for me all year round. Next is jojoba oil. It doesn't have to be Levin Rose, but I love jojoba oil. I use it after my shower or my bath and it just hydrates and moisturizes my skin and then locks in that moisture. I can use it alone or I can use it and then use a body butter or a moisture cream or something like that. Definitely an essential for me. Next is my dry brush. I know. I don't know if a lot of you do dry brush, but this is the Yerba Prima Skin Brush, and it has the long handle. These bristles are longer and harder, and what you do is, before you shower or take a bath, you just take a dry brush, and you move it along your skin in circular motions away from your heart, and this one has the long handle. I use this one for the harder to reach places, my back, the tops of my thighs, my butt, and things like that. And then I also have this one. This is a little handheld one. The bristles are a little shorter and softer. This one is for more delicate areas, my neck, my arms, and things like that. This one was $2 off Amazon, and this one was 7 and I bought me and my husband both one. But what it does is it really, like your skin is the largest organ. It needs the most tender, loving care. And what this does is it really starts, when you're moving in a movement away from your heart, it really starts to increase circulation beneath the skin surface that supplies our skin with blood. It helps make the skin more supple. It can actually reduce the signs of cellulite because it plumps up that skin on the, top, on the upper thighs and your bottom and things like that. So this is definitely essential for me. I love my dry brush. I do use this 
in the winter three to four times a week and only in the summer a couple of times because in the in the summer I do self tan so I don't use it as often but love this for making my skin just feel new again every day you shed off thousands of skin cells and this kind of sort of just helps that process along and it leaves behind new beautiful soft silky skin definitely an essential for me if you've never tried it get you one find it buy it try it you're gonna love it get it serious next is the hosey marin argon oil i don't tend to put a lot of oils on my face i don't use coconut oil or olive oil a lot on my face or even a lot of jojoba oil but this is just natural and pure it's light it absorbs very quickly it doesn't clog my pores and I recommend this to all of my friends that have dry skin but even if you don't have dry skin you can use it on your cuticles your hair your feet if I get a little rough patch on my elbow I can put a drop of this and the next day that's gone this is a beauty essential for me I love it I've been using it for a long time and I don't see that changing next is moisture cream it doesn't have to be Nivea. I'm just using the Nivea Soft Moisturizing Cream at the moment. I feel that in the winter and fall cold months, my skin can get so dry it almost burns and it will definitely you know, peel. And in the winter and cold months, we need more than just a lotion. We need a moisture cream or a body butter, something that is thicker. And this one is very thick and it just smells it smells amazingly clean. It's not heavy or thick. It doesn't leave your skin greasy. It absorbs very quickly and very nicely, and it just makes my skin feel like silk. So definitely an essential for me is a moisture cream, whatever kind, but I've got to have one. Love it. Next is my Weed John Oil. I know you would think that in the summer with the humidity and the beaches and swimming and chlorine and sand and things like that, but I feel like my hair needs this just as much in the winter as it does in the summer. Normally, I could not take my fingers and run my hands through my hair. This would start to frizz really badly. This does not allow that to happen. I've talked about this a few times. It's on a favorites a couple of times. This is a curly haired girl's best friend. It doesn't leave your hair oily or greasy or heavy feeling. It just leaves it's soft and silky and moisturized. It won't frizz. Love this. This is an essential for me year-round as well. Next, and this is so basic, but it is the Avon Care Deeply Aloe Lip Balm. And it looks like this. I buy like eight to 10 of these at a time. They're 80 cents from Avon. I don't tend to use chapsticks and things that are medicated or, or very highly scented with fruits or things like that because they do dry my lips out. This is amazing. I have one of these in my purse right here on my desk. I hand these out to my kids. You know when kids start to lick their mouths and their whole face will just be chapped and red and cracked. I can give this to my son and in two days that's gone. So this is definitely a beauty essential for me that I love. And my last beauty essential, it doesn't have to be Mac Fix Plus. You could use the Cinema Secrets. You could use a do it yourself, but it is definitely a moisture spray. In the winter months, I definitely use a moisture spray first after I wash my face. This hydrates my skin, moisturizes it, and then locks that moisture in place. And then I use my moisturizer. If I don't use one of these, my skin will still tend to have dry patches on my nose a little bit. And I don't use the same one. I'll alternate this one day, this one day, this one day, just so my skin doesn't adapt to one certain kind and kind of get used to it. Definitely an essential for me, and I love these. And that is it, you guys. Those are my current beauty essentials. Those are the things that I feel like I have to have. And please don't forget to go and check out Ankita's channel as well. Tell her that I said hello. Thank you all so much for watching. And leave me a comment below and let me know one of your current beauty essentials. Something that you feel like you have to have, whether it be for fall or cold weather or anything like that. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.